Okay, hello, this is Sean Mullery from IT Sligo, and I'm just going to uh, give you a quick introduction to the module C Programming 201. Firstly, about the subject, uh, I'm going to mention three things in the next three slides. One is the flipped classroom, which is the way I go about teaching it. Second is I'm going to tell you a little bit about assessment. And the third is very important, that's why I've put it in capital letters and completed it with three exclamation marks. And that is the fact that you must struggle, and I'll explain that in the, the final slide. So firstly, to explain what I mean by the flipped classroom, unlike a conventional classroom, which you go in and the teacher teaches you for an hour and you take down some notes and then you go away and you study that, this will be done a little differently. The time that you spend with me, the, the lecturer, um, will not be spent uh, with me teaching you. You will be taught by um, videos that I will place on the Moodle site and you will watch those, they're small little video, instructional videos. Uh, you'll normally do maybe three or four of them per week. And um, they start out at about five minutes long, but by the end of the course, they'll probably be getting to longer because the content is becoming more difficult. So you watch those videos, you learn a certain amount from that, you then attempt uh, the programs that follow. And as you begin to run into trouble with the programs, that is when you come into the classroom and you seek assistance uh, from me. And there are other ways of seeking assistance as well. So all initial teaching takes place via small videos. The classes are used to help you to work through the exercises. So I don't stand at the front of the class and teach you when you come in. Uh, that is done by the videos. You'll only get assistance if you ask for it. And this is important because I, I, I like the students in this subject to become as self-sufficient as they can. But I don't want you to be afraid to ask a question. You should always ask a question if you're stuck. Uh, so I'll be there in order to answer questions, um, but I'm not going to come and start harassing you to find out uh, how you're doing with the subject. So you need to, uh, need to ask me the odd question um, if you're having trouble and don't be afraid to do so. Now, to explain to you a little bit about uh, how the uh, module is going to be assessed, there isn't really a final exam because uh, sitting down and doing a final exam, uh, as in a final written exam in C programming, um, is kind of like doing a final exam, uh, a final written exam in your driving test or something like that, or in a, in a football game. Uh, it's not done that way. So we'll be doing them by assessments along the way and you will only get marks for those assessments. So you don't get mar marks for doing your practice, you get marks for doing your assessments. Um, so the practice is basically where you will be uh, writing exercises and assignments, and you'll be uploading those onto Moodle. But they're not for marks, they're so that you can use them later as a resource when you come to do an assessment. Because the assessments, and which take various forms, one of which will be quizzes, but the other more important type of assessment is the practical assessment. These are open book assessments. So you'll be asked to write a program that you haven't seen before, but it'll be quite similar to uh, the exercises you have been doing. That will then mean that you will have the exercises available to you. You can also use any books that you may have purchased, or you can use any internet resources either. The one thing you can't do is communicate with your colleagues during those assessments. Um, so there'll be two of those, two of those uh, on the lab days that you come in and we may run uh, other ones if, if we have time, okay? There will be also some Moodle quizzes, as I said, um, and uh, again, you, you would do those in, in your own time, but they would be uh, generally set for a particular date and we'll see those later, okay? Uh, so that's the assessment. And if you have any questions, you can ask me during the, the lab about that. Final thing is, and uh, you've seen this earlier, you must struggle. Now, this is this is very important when it comes to this subject. Um, what I mean by this is that, you know, don't expect uh, this particular subject to come easy to you. Um, the first thing is that, you know, while I, I create these videos uh, for you to watch, for, to, for you to learn from, the videos do not contain all the knowledge that's required to, uh, to do to cope uh, with all of the exercises that follow. Um, you should, uh, on top of watching those exercises, you should, uh, you know, try things out. So when you've written a program, you should try and do something else with it. Uh, see, see if you can push the boundaries a little bit. 
you should look up books if you're stuck with any part of it you can consult the help menus that come with the, the compiler that we'll be using and i'll do a separate video on the compiler you can search on the internet and uh, you know because c programming is uh, such a worldwide language you will find uh, quite a lot of resources on the internet uh, and on forums and so on you can ask your classmates of course uh, for assistance they may have figured out how to do something that you haven't and of course help your classmates whenever they're stuck um, and the final thing, of course, is to ask me, um, you know, and don't be afraid to ask me. But what I would say is, um, you know, try and look up some other resources before you, you resort to always asking uh, the lecturer or one of your classmates. Because um, if you don't have that experience on the day of an assessment, you obviously can't ask for any help. Uh, so it's vitally important that you uh, that you, ha you you have that experience of trying to sort out a problem yourself. So. You, you need to consider it a little bit like any sort of competitive sport um, it's going to require hard work um, it's it's just like trying to get fit and then trying to gain the skills that come with a competitive sport you clearly your coach can't do that for you they can give you some guidelines and push you and then put you into situations where you're going to be tested but you have to put in the hard work and it's not always easy so do expect that there will be times when you'll be writing programs and you'll be hitting your head off a wall for a while um, trying to solve some problem. And sometimes when you when you see the solution, either if it's shown to you or if you figure it out, you think, oh, I've wasted time there. But you've never wasted time if you struggle with a program um, because you will remember that so much better when you reach uh, the next hurdle that you come across. So, you know, you can expect that you will struggle with some programs and not exactly know what you're doing and feel a little bit lost at times that's okay as long as it only goes on for a short while if you find you're spending way too long uh, and getting nowhere then it's perfectly reasonable uh, to start coming for help and that indeed that's why the classes are there are to help you with that nobody's expected to be able to do this completely on their own so don't feel that way either okay so that's just a little bit about how i'll be running the subject uh, and then there'll be more videos to follow to uh, show you um how to do individual programs, but also how to work the compiler and so on. So we'll finish at that.